Time-restricted feeding patterns are becoming increasingly popular. The idea behind these is that you narrow your eating window, which will likely reduce subsequent food intake. For example, you can do it on a daily basis, such as intermittent fasting, or you can do it on a weekly basis, like alternate day fasting or the 5-2 diet. The 5-2 diet is where you have two more extreme restricted days, and then less of a restriction on the other five days. This can be psychologically appealing for some people because rather than feeling like they're dieting every day of the week, they can restrict more heavily on two days of the week and then have more freedom on the other five. So time-restricted feeding absolutely can work for weight loss. Any dietary methodology that reduces caloric intake will of course be able to work for weight loss. But the question is, is the 5-2 diet superior than standard energy restriction for weight loss? So a new study compared the 5-2 diet with traditional caloric restriction in a group of obese males. The results? After six months, both groups lost weight both groups lost waist circumference, however, there were no significant differences between the two groups. So whilst the 5-2 diet did provide weight loss, it did not outperform traditional caloric restriction when calories over the week were matched. Although research on time-restricted feeding is a bit hit and miss, and not entirely unequivocal, this is in line with previous research on the 5-2 diet, which showed no significant differences between the two groups as well. So if we look at the body of research as a whole, two previous systematic reviews demonstrated that time-restricted feeding patterns didn't result in superior weight loss to traditional caloric restriction. So why do it? Some people feel better when they're fasting. However, we can find positive anecdote on a whole array of diets, so we have to take that with a pinch of salt. Also, it has been seen in some research that people who follow time-restricted feeding patterns had higher hunger, higher incidence of headaches, and high reported lack of energy. So to say that everyone will feel better on a fasting diet certainly wouldn't be appropriate. But compliance rates between time-restricted feeding and continual energy restriction do seem to be comparable. So I wouldn't say that fasting is better or easier to adhere to, but I also wouldn't say it's harder to adhere to. I would tend to encourage what someone personally finds it easier to stick with. So be aware of all dietary methodologies and pick and choose the ones that work for you personally. In summary, time-restricted feeding patterns absolutely can work for weight loss. However, it isn't shown to be superior to caloric restriction when calories are matched between conditions. In my opinion, one of the strengths of time-restricted feeding is it is a very easy prescription to make. For example, if you tell someone to have two very heavily restricted days during the week, it is likely that they are going to consume less calories over the course of the week. If you tell someone that they should go on a low carb diet, they will probably reduce their calories. Likewise, if you tell someone to go on a time restricted feeding diet, you will likely reduce their calories without having to single out any single food group. If you reduce someone's eating window, they will probably eat less food. Now the caveat to this is I have seen some people using time restricted feeding patterns as a way of kind of enabling binge eating behavior. I certainly wouldn't recommend people avoiding certain meals, just using it as a free hall pass to shovel as much shit into their face as they want to during their feeding window. Of course, binge eating can eliminate the caloric deficit that your fasting has created. So in summary, if you find time-restricted feeding patterns easy for you to adhere to and you enjoy doing them, crack on. I have no issues with them whatsoever. But until time-restricted feeding has more research showing superiority to a traditional caloric restriction, it is not something that I will try and strive towards, hoping for some kind of magical benefit. So that's it. I hope it helps. Thank you.